Yeah, hi folks, this is Martin from the photoacademy.eu and on this video I will give you an overview of the new RAW converter from Coral and it's the developers of the Bibble RAW converter Coral bought the Bibble engine and the developers are within the team of the Coral company and now Coral has this brand new RAW converter Aftershot Pro and I will give you a short overview of this RAW converter and yeah why should you buy this RAW converter if you already have Bibble like I have for my Linux system it's good to use on every computer doesn't matter if it's in Linux, Macintosh or in Windows you can use it on all the computers without a problem that's the reason why I work with Bibble I have a Linux computer but for you who are new to photography and start with the raw photographies and thinking about a new converter to buy this is the good opportunity it's not that expensive and it's easy to use it's a fast engine it's good quality so you can download the program from the Coral homepage and you can try it and after the try yeah you delete it or you buy it yeah but at first I will give you the overview about the old Bibble user interface so here we are inside of the Bibble user interface you have on the left hand side options for library or catalog system file system and for the output I'm inside of the file system now I choose images from my hard disk but you can also import them to the library system and it's similar to the Adobe Lightroom but if you're working for clients it's uh, very easy to only open one file from the hard disk and work with it on the right hand side you have a uh, some options I have a lot more because I installed a lot of plugins into the Bibble raw converter but um, the first installation will give you everything plus one plugin it's in black and white conversion and then you have all the other options you can see here on the right hand side you can change the view, um, you can give stars, flag it, um, you have a lot of options. What I like most of this program is that it's good for all computer systems as I mentioned and that you can work with layers. So you have your main layer which is the raw image and then you can create new layers and create styles onto that layers and if you don't like them you can delete them or you can create another layer and give it another style compare them and so on so that is what I like most you can mask inside the layers you can mask in them or mask out some effects to your images I have a lot of options with this program here in the standard menu it's more for the fast processing of your raw file you can give a bit of a vibrance you can change the contrast you have fill lights you have highlights say rescuing if you need it not for this image you can change the exposure brighten it up you have sharpening, you have the option to noise reduction with the noise linear and um, 
you have noise in Ninja already built in, but only a very small interface of the original Noise Ninja. So if you own Noise Ninja, you can go into this help option and register Noise Ninja to the Bibble. And then you have the full version of Noise Ninja, inclusive Unsharp Mask. You can use whatever you want, lens corrections. And um, you can see it's a Nikon D700, 1635 millimeter. And you can correct this image or not, depends on what you like. Chromatic aberration, vignette correction. You can mirror your image on the flight, no problem with this. Tone options, color options. You can change every color, the style of it. Um, yeah, hue, saturation, vibrance, white balance. You have a very good color management. That's um, also one thing I like very well on this program. Yeah, and this is the user interface of the old Bibble 5 Pro. So we can close it down and take a look on the Corel Aftershot Pro. And it's very similar to the Bibble engine, so, or user interface, sorry for that. So if you already have the Bibble, it's very easy to switch to the new one. Just now it's inexpensive to upgrade to the new Corel if you have a Bibble. If not, as I mentioned before, it's not that expensive to buy it from. You can download it, you can try it, and yeah, maybe you like it, like I do. Yeah, you have uh, the same option to have the library file system output here on the left hand side. You have the overview. You can open or collapse your file system on your hard disk. You have different options. You have a slideshow, um, full view. I will not switch now for the reason of the video, for the video window, but you can expand the win window or collapse it or change the view of it. You can zoom in one on one into the image. You can fit to your window. You have the histogram here. And you can do the same things like I showed you in the Bibble user interface. It's a little bit different, yeah, but not that different. So it's no problem to jump in. You have already Noise Ninja inside, like on the Bibble, and as I mentioned before, if you have already or your already own Noise Ninja, you can register to Aftershot as well. And then you have the full control of the Noise Ninja functions. Um, the layers you have here on the top, you can also create new layers. If you open the window, you can drag the window to whichever place you like. You can go back to the standard, you can collapse it, you can create new layers to put effects on them, special effects if you like. So just for this video, if you go into one of the plugins, it's uh, black and white, we can do a black and white conversion. And if we jump into the layer panel, we can switch between the original and the layer with the effect on it. If we don't like, bye-bye, no problem with this. Very easy to use, 
very helpful to create all the styles not on the main layer but instead on the new layer so you can throw them away if you don't like them yeah you have um, the detail detail panel with the sharpening uh, raw noise reduction or as i mentioned the noise ninja lens control correction as a database or manual chromatic aberration you can switch your image here as well invert or mirror vignette control everything you need for your lens correction or noise reduction or sharpening you have the tone panel you have the color panel and as I said it's very similar to the Bibble meter daughter you can go into you can create keywords you can create sets of key keywords that you can copy to all your images if you need them you can manage everything inside of this meter daughter panel you have full control about everything you need like no, your name, your hometown, everything you need, where you create this, where you're coming from. I often use only the default to take a look on my settings of the camera. GPS database, if you have GPS in your images, you also can see them here on the metadata. Yeah, you can collapse this panel as well to compare images or go back. So it's very easy to use. It's not that difficult to come into this raw converter and start working with it. And um, you have under the help panel, you have the normal help center or a learning center on the home page you get a full manual for download as well with the download of the program and it's very helpful to read it or take a look on the videos i will also show you a workflow in the upcoming video i show you one of my workflow i do most with this program so that you can see what's going on deep inside if you're working with the layers in the raw converter and everything like this but this is only the overview very short overview yeah and to make a long story short this is a new raw converter from coral and take a look on it download it for a trial and yeah Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.